Charles Booth. He did a really pioneering study of poverty in London in the 1890s. Booth's study shamed the rich of London. They realized that there's a third of the population of London living below Booth's poverty line. And when you saw the poverty line, they could see, well, gosh, that's really poor. <laughs> people living that poor in London? That many of them? It shamed people into action. Booth's, Booth's measurements led within 10, 15 years to uh, a, a major impetus on social policy, particularly with old age pension, because they were particularly alarmed to see that old people were living so badly. So description, data, rigorous description of the living conditions of poor people can have a profound influence on policy dialogue and knowledge in civil society generally. years ago, 80%, roughly 80% of the world's population lived below a dollar a day. That's actually a difficult number to calculate and we, know, we don't have a lot of certainty about the number. Data wasn't very good then. But the best estimates we have suggest 80% of the population of the world lived below a dollar a day. Now it's under 20%. Dollar 25 a day depends on which year's prices you're talking about. But a roughly comparable line probably pretty close, pretty uh, very comparable line, would suggest that, that we've made huge progress. You've got to keep that into perspective. I know it looks frustrating, we see so many poor people in the world, but you've got to realise we, we have made progress to know that we can make can further progress. And we know how to do it. And actually I think a lot of the policies are, 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 are tried and true. Some have <laughs> tried and failed and others have tried and succeeded and we've also learned not to generalize too much. The same policy can work very well in one place and very poorly and badly in another. We've learned the importance of context. We've also learned very important lesson that the importance of monitoring and evaluation to look closely at what is working and what is not working and to adapt, move out of bad policies into good policies. Developing countries have come a long way and much more sophisticated about this than they were even 20, 30 years ago. What's the basic idea of the book? The basic idea is, uh, in a nutshell, I, I think of two sets of people in the world. There's those who are interested in poverty and those interested in economics. These, these, those two sets intersect. There are some people who are interested in poverty and some people who are interested in economics. The objective of the, of the book is to make the intersection bigger. I want to get those people who are interested in poverty to learn economics and economists who don't necessarily know much about poverty to learn about it. So I want to expand the number of people who understand both economics and poverty. Now that means I'm, I'm trying to do two things. I'm, I'm trying to write, a, if you like, a textbook of economics which focuses on poverty. And a lot of textbooks in economics, there's some very good textbooks out there, but they tend to be very, not very application driven more theoretical, the, the applications to real world problems emerge in the, in the periphery, uh, afterthoughts even sometimes, and no, fair to say sometimes they're a bit superficial. I wanted to make the application to an important real world problem absolutely central. Here I'm, in many ways, I'm following a, a, a famous economic historian, Max Hartwell, who said that in, in essence economics is the study of poverty. I firmly believe that. I think there's a truth to that. But I don't think you'd, you could ever seriously say that that's the, the mainstream view in economics today. So I'd really like to change that. I would like to get economics focused much more on, the, on the, the conditions of poor people and how to make them less poor. And I'd also like to get development specialists and social policy specialists and advocates and, and so on, activists as well, more cognizant, more understanding of the importance of economics to get a dialogue here that's more constructive. And I think that's the way we'll really move forward in fighting poverty in the world. Mm -hmm.